Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today is the front panels for our Harry Styles oversized cardigan. So I'm going to do the two front panels today. Uh, remember I already showed you in my last video how to attach all of your squares. So now I'm just going to work on these two front panels and then we have the other back panel and sleeves to do and we're, we're rocking. We're getting really close to being done here pretty soon. But here is one panel. And these are not exactly the same. They are still four by three with the ribbing, but they are not the same diagram. So I'm going to show you those today too. But this one is already done. This one I have, I've already done my front panels. I've gotten everything secured this way and so horizontally and vertically everything is secured and I did all of my end weaving. These will go away when we do our edging or when we attach the panels together. So don't worry about these ones. Just everything else is done. This is the wrong side. And here's the right side. And here's my ribbing. So this is basically what I'm going to be showing you today. Because remember, we did it the easy way because I try to make everything go easy so that it is not so intimidating to try to make a cardigan or a little sweater or something. Because making clothes can make people a little bit nervous sometimes to make things that you're actually going to wear and make sure that it's going to fit. But this is a nice oversized sweater, so it's not really going to be form-fitting. Here are our diagrams. There's the left front. This is what you want it to look like. And there's your right front. That is your map. And the blank ones are the jacquard. The one I have completed already is the left front. That's the one I just showed you right here, so we're going to work on this ribbing. This one is done. This one is what I'm going to show you on the ribbing today. Here's your diagram from the left and the diagram for the right. Four by threes, four by three panels. So here we go. There's our one, two, three, four, by three, one, two, three. And I did all my ends. I have everything connected nicely. Remember I already showed you how to do this little edging here of the red to make life very easy when we're trying to join things. All right, so four millimeter hook, check. This is my prim, this is my baby, and it's pink for extra fun. I use this all the time. I just love this hook, love my hook. And get out your red. I'm using the Big, Big Twist Value. This is from Joann's, this is like their house brand. It's a four weight, it's really nice and soft. And it uses a five millimeter hook, but I'm gonna use a four, so our ribbing is nice and tight. And it works just fine with this. So whatever red that you have chosen for your Harry Styles cardigan, get that out. So we are working on this right now and we're going to make this separately and then attach it to the front panel. So we just need to make a slip knot, get that on our four millimeter hook, and we are going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. There is my chain of eleven. Flip it over and we're going to do one single crochet in each one of these back bumps so we are going to end up with ten single crochets. So go in our little back bumps. One, two, all the way down you will end up with ten. and 10. Almost. There we go. There we go. There's my 10. There. I just have this little tiny piece right here. But this is the start of our ribbing. So that was row one. Now we want to chain one, turn our work. We are going to be working in the back loops only on all of the inside stitches. The outside ones, it's easiest if we just do a normal single crochet under both with both loops just it keeps a nice nicer edge. So right there I just did my single crochet. Now for the next one, I'm going to go in the back loop. Single crochet. So right here, not the whole stitch like this, not the whole stitch, just this back loop right here and single crochet. All the way down until you get to the last stitch. 
when you have your very last stitch hanging out, then you want to use both loops to keep your nice finished edge. So there's my last stitch is right here. I'm going to go under both loops and single crochet. That was row two. So row one was just in our back bumps of our chain and row two is back loop only. So row two through row 56 is back loop only. So there's our two and then these is the back loop only. Remember on the outside ones we want to use both loops just because it makes a nicer finished edge. So back loop only, back loop only, all the way down except for the very first and the very last stitch. See, I told you this was super easy. Then I'm at my last stitch so I'm going to go under both loops like that, single crochet, done. Chain one, turn our work and repeat that until you get to row 56. So you want to have a clicker around or a piece of scratch paper or something that you can use to keep track of your stitches. And I'll meet you at row 56 in a couple of minutes. Okay, I made this one a little bit longer now, but here is my completed ribbing for my right front panel. So what I'm going to show you here is just the little truncated version of that. Went through 56 and now at row 57 will be a chain one, turn your work and we're going to do single crochets in every, every single stitch, both loops. No more back loop only. This very last row is single crochet so now we have a total of 57 rows. So get this one finished up here. And there is my last stitch. So there we go. So we just finished this off with a nice edge without any ribbing parts. So that is right down here. So this one is done. Now we want to chain one and we are going to work along the top of our ribbing. All the way along here. We want to do one single crochet in every row here so it ends up evenly being 57 stitches. So we'll just go like this. We have a third chain one, single crochet all the way down. One in every row. Making sure that you have your 57. Row. So there's my tiny one, looks like this, but here's the big one that looks like this. So again, I did started with the chain of 11 and then single crochet in the back loops 10, or in the back bumps 10, and then rows 2 through 56 are single crochet back loop only, and our very last row is a row of single crochets, chain 1, and do 57 equally along the top. Make sure you have 57. Make sure you have 57 all the way across because we need those 57. Because now we are almost done. Now I'm going to get out my front panel and I mark to the bottom. We're going to attach these. There's my bottom right here. The green, red, orange. That's my bottom right here green, red, orange. This is the bottom. So that's what we're going to be using now. So turn it wrong side up. So we turn our panel over. This is the inside or the wrong side. This is the inside. This is the side that's pretty. And this is the wrong side. Here is our red row that we put on so we can attach things. And here is the red row that we just completed that went along the top of our ribbing and our red yarn. So now we want to attach these together. So you're in the very first one. Our very first one right here we want to go into, see there's two loops here, but we want to go into the very front, the closest loop to you. Closest loop, just that one loop. And on this side go into the furthest away loop from you. 
And now we're going to fasten on our yarn. Just like that. And now we're going to do that exact same thing. Go through the very closest loop and the very furthest loop of both pieces and slip stitch. Front loop and the back loop of the other one and slip stitch all the way down. And remember I did each one of these squares was 19 stitches wide. I have three panels or three squares in my panel. Three times 19 is 57. That's why we did 57 stitches on our ribbing. So now we're just going to attach this all the way down. So you get it? I'm trying to make everything as easy and user friendly as possible especially for beginners because I know this one has been so much fun for beginners to make but it can get a little bit daunting when you have when you're sitting here looking at 70 squares and say I have to try to make these look like clothes I want to make this look like a sweater I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for everyone so I'm going to continue this all the way down. Remember it's the closest loop and the furthest loop and a slip stitch in every stitch. And I'll meet you at the end in just a minute. And I'm down to my last two stitches. Front loop that's closest to you. Furthest loop on the panel. Slip stitch. And the same goes for our very last stitch. Closest loop and furthest loop and a slip stitch and you're done. So we'll finish that off right now. Whoopsie. And snip. Pull that out. Now you can see we have a nice straight line and every stitch is accounted for. 19, 19, 19 and 19 times 3 is 57. So we attached our ribbing. Make two of these, attach one to the bottom of each of your panels. Done with two of the panels. We'll do the, have to do the back panel, which is one big piece, and the sleeves, which is a little bit trickier, but still not too complicated. And then we have to put everything together. And it's a nice, straight edge for your bottom ribbing. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon, and we'll work on the other panels. So thanks. Bye.